Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today we're going to be looking at Unity's brand new water system for HDRP, and we're going to be looking at some awesome demos, which includes a river, a pool, and their beautiful looking island demo, which is an infinite looking ocean. They have loads of samples. I'll be showing you how to import everything today, and we'll look at exactly all the features, all the documentation they've got, and everything that you need to get it set up. And just while I'm here, I just thought I'd mention that Crest Ocean Renderer, which is a water system for the standard render pipeline, is great and it's free on GitHub. I'll put the link down below. And you can also check out Unity's brand new blog post, which is all about the ocean system, which you can read talking about the features, how to use it and where to get it from. You can even check out Unity's in-depth look of the overview of the HDRP water system on YouTube. And I will be putting all the links down below for you to check it out. And do be sure to check out the Unity Asset Store because the summer sale is now on and it's a great selection of 50% off assets that are featured from affiliates. And I will have a video too on some of my favorite assets from this store, which will also be 50% off. So be sure to check out all the links down below. So to get started, you can open up a brand new HDR PC. Now this is 2023.1.5. And if you do want some really basic samples, not the more advanced samples that they've got on GitHub, you can go to the package manager, go to the in project and go to the high definition RP, scroll down to the bottom and you can see water samples there and you can just press import. When you get there, you get a bunch of samples here and you've got a bunch of scenes. So in this case, there's a swimming pool and you do need to enable water in the settings. Luckily, there's a nice set of buttons which you can show that you can enable water features like this. And you can also enable other custom effects like if you need to enable the foam, you can click that and it will add the actual dynamic elements if that is relevant to your scene. Then you can see the swimming pool in this case. You can select on the water and you have a bunch of options for the simulation, the deformation, the appearance, the foam and the miscellaneous. So you can adjust a lot of awesome settings. And of course, if you need any of the settings available, you can press to open and it will take you to the specific part where you might need to enable the specific types of deformation. And just one thing to be aware, sometimes when you've got the massive oceans, you may need to increase the texture atlas size in your HDRP settings because it won't be big enough to take into account the maximum resolution that you will need. And here they have another example of the water line and the way that they've been able to create the effect. And they do have the underwater dynamic effects that when the camera reaches a certain distance under the water, you will get a different effect. And they have created a special effect to make sure it blurs the actual water line and you get that constant effect of an infinite style water with lots and lots of customization. Now, if you want to import those really awesome mega samples, there's the GitHub page right here. And it does have a swimming pool, a river and an island scene. Now, if you drop down and you just download the zip, you will get that on your desktop or wherever you've chosen to save it. Now I've got the folder here that's downloaded. I like to grab the assets and I just like to grab the water system demo and the scenes, copy those out of that folder, go back to Unity, right click the assets folder, show in Explorer, open that up and I'm just going to paste the items in there. When you import the asset, you may get a bunch of errors. You can just press clear. And one thing that you might want to do if you import those water system demo is make sure that you delete those samples out because they do conflict with some of the things in there. Now there is an input reference that is missing because it uses the new input system. So there may be an issue unless you get rid of this camera switcher script. But what you can do is go back to the package manager, go to Unity registry and just type in input. And you want to make sure that you've installed the brand new Unity input system. So when you just click install in that from the package manager, it will install it in Unity and then it will pop up and say to you, do you want to restart Unity to take in effect for this option? Then you want to say, yes, I want to restart. And now when you're here in your restarted project, you can go to the scenes and you can see that there's an island, river and pool. So we'll start off with the river and you can see the effect in the scene looking actually pretty awesome. And it's got a bunch of things built in. It's got the foam based river settings that we've got here. We've got the specific river with the water surface and you can set between the predetermined surface type, whether you want an ocean, 
a sea or a lake, a river or a pool. You've got the simulation where you can have a water mask. You could you can change the distant wind settings so you can make it look far more vicious as if it was a sort of sea or a faster moving body of water. There's an element of chaos and you can actually highlight any of these options to determine what they do. You could set the orientation of how the water should be offset, the current speed, so you can make it look like the water flows much faster and it could be coming from a much higher point up and out of the, say, if it was from a top of a mountain or something like that. You've got the current map that it uses and how much influence that has on the object. You've got the ripples and how many ripples are in the water. So you can have a very, very smooth piece of water or you can have something that generally looks more wavy and like the water should. Then you have the ability to have deformation so it will move across other objects and be occluded by objects that are in the world. You can set the appearance of it to have the how far the color fades, set all the colors, the heights, the displacement, and even enable acoustics when you can see the water or the objects underneath there. And of course, if we move our camera beneath the water, we do get the fog, the effect, and all the effects under the water, and it does look quite creepy if you were to have something hiding under here. And you even have the ability to adjust the form-based settings. This because it has HDRP and other constant features, and you can see that there's a bunch of deformers which actually affect the edges of the water, make it rise up against objects or around corners, because as you can see, that it affects the direct shape and look of the um, water when it passes around specific obstacles. And this does use the decal system too, as you can see here with a bunch of decals and the projectors. And as you can see, if I grab one, we have got a foam projection, which it puts around this area to simulate that look of the water moving very fast when it reaches a certain point. And if, and if I remove those decals, you can see it looks much more timid, whereas this rush can look very, very interesting. You can see we've got something very, very similar to what we had in that previous demo at the very start, and we can still use all the volumes and other things like that. And the water is just much more calmer, and it's a single body of water, which is set as pool, and you can see that there is general customizations, but it's a body of water that doesn't move because it just sits in place. As you can see, the acoustics from the refraction of the light underneath, which looks quite natural, based on the actual items above. And you can see even if you look at the top of the water, you do get a reflection of other things there. And you can see that even if we look directly along the center, we get the variation from the top and the underneath, and it looks realistic for what we need it to be. And here we have one other awesome example, which is a tropical island with an infinite looking sea that we've got going on here. So you can see that the vastness goes on forever. And you can see how these are built and you can see that they've got visual effects in terms of the algae and the other stuff that is underneath the water, as you can see here, with custom shaders, custom effects, and everything that you can have in this. You've got sound effects and other things in here. So you've got different deformers for this type of scene to make the ripples look like they should. The foam generators around the specific rocks and the beach waves that we've got here, which cycle up and down and we have the custom settings for the ocean which makes it look infinite depending where we look and it's just duplicated across and you've got much more varied settings across here because we've got the ability for have high resolution deformation all the effects that we previously went through and in this case you can see that the foam effects are much more apparent because you do get that foaminess in real life seas especially in waves that are in the background and again, you have all the same acoustic effects underneath water, depending on how deep this is. And you have a much more, a much darker look. And if we go really far out into this ocean here, you can see that we go and you can see that the top of this water and you can see the deformation and the nice reflections underneath. And you can see that when the camera goes underneath, we do get the adjustments of the fog and other settings below. As you can imagine out in the deep blue sea where the shark's about to come and eat me. So I need to get out of there. <laughs> so I do think these are some really awesome samples of exactly how the water can be used in HDRP and how you can get the most out of it and just look at some really 
awesome looking stuff and be sure to check these all out. Let me know what you think and do be sure to check out all the links in the description because the Unity Summer Sale is now on all the way through July and through August with 50% off some of the best assets all the developers have chosen and do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 195 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do be sure to come and check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive, massive savings. Big thanks to my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Mike Cullen, and Than Chu for their amazing support. And thank you so much for everybody else who comes to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.